I just want to congratulate our football team and uh, Spartan Nation for a great win. Uh, very similar to last year's bowl game where we came back and bounced back. And uh, we continue to say it all along. We've got great chemistry in our football team, great leadership at the ground level, which to me is the players' level. And uh, we remain resilient. We pushed through the tough times. But uh, I thought we came out and played much better in the second half, obviously. Um, I thought Connor Cook did a nice job with a 90-yard 90 90 yard drive. Gave us a little bit of momentum. We ran the ball more effectively. Came away with a big turnover on special teams and uh, got it in there for the for the lead. And then uh, again, Conroy makes a clutch catch at the end. So uh, just keep bouncing back. But uh, we're very very proud of our football team, and I'll let these guys take questions and I'll stick around. Questions for talking about. They said if you didn't get the sack, 20 push-ups. That's probably the most you've laughed all season. What's going through your mind when you hear that? I didn't see us too many push-ups out there in the first half. But, uh, you know, our guys uh, our guys compete. I thought a great defensive game plan by uh, Coach Narduzzi and our defensive staff. And uh, we played very, very well on defense, giving up only that amount of points um, in the situations we were in. I thought Matt, Mike Sadler had an outstanding game, really just continuing to punt well. And uh, obviously the turnover was huge. Follow up. Secondly, Mark, your guy's stability is huge with you. I know you planned on playing Connor in the first half. Would you make the decision in the second half? He has the longest drive of the year. And then that decision on the last one, you talk through what, what's going through your mind when you make that, that call to go with him? Well, it's, you know, what's going through my mind, I'm not really quite sure. I just felt like just had a feeling on that situation, and we had to go with the guy that had moved us a little bit. And, uh, you know, TCU has an excellent defense. They really, really do. And we couldn't get loose, uh, you know, when Connor completes four passes, I think. Is that right? Four of 11. Andrew cl completes five. Yeah. Uh, so it's not like we're, it's not like we're ripping him. Le'Veon has a duck that we shoot, that, shoot down on a trick play and falls into uh, you know, Taekwon Hammock's hands for a huge play. But uh, he scrambled once. We were moving the football under his direction, and I just felt like that was the best thing to do at that time. And maybe more importantly at that situation, we felt like maybe he could scramble a little better than, than Andrew, and he may be forced to scramble, and we needed to get in the field goal position. And, uh, so that's the way we went. And uh, you know, we came out on top. But there's a lot of different people to deal with this. And Andrew is, uh, is a tremendous person. And uh, when I say deal with it, there's a lot of different people who had something to do with this football game, winning. And Andrew Maxwell was one of those guys. So I don't want to slight anybody or say this guy's the new quarterback or anything like that. There's a lot of colleges across the country that play two quarterbacks or play guys situationally. And we just felt like we wanted to play a redshirt freshman and get him some reps in the bowl game because he had enough time to prepare and we wanted to see what he could do. And he did well, so we used him the second half too. Third row to the right. Mark, you've had 13 games this year. I think 10 of them have been like this. With so many of them that have gone against you, when they kicked that 53-yarder, did you feel, here we go again, or did the glass have full side of you say, we're going to march down and win this? No, I, I, felt, I really felt like we could, we could get down there in a field goal situation and, and, and do something with it. We, you know, we only needed a couple plays, and we got them. We got a nice short dig to, to, Levy, to uh, uh, Deion Sims. Uh, we hit another one. We hit Le'Veon with a little run. Um, so. You know, I, I felt like we would be able to get it down there and just move the football. The thing that was impressive to me is that we stayed composed all the way through to the end. And we have played a lot of close games, but, you know, we also won against Wisconsin very close. And over time, we won against Boise very close. So our guys have won. Uh, it's just that, you know, sometimes when you lose, it gets, it's, it sort of gets magnified for all of us. Do you feel like it was your time? Well, First row to the right. It's always going to come around. If you're patient, things will always come back to you. <laughs> to the right. Zach McCann, Arizona Republic. Uh, in the first half, they gashed you for a couple really long pass plays. One was a deep ball, one was a catch and run. It's very uncharacteristic for you guys. Can you talk about what happened on those two particular plays? Well, on the one, uh, the one deep ball, we had it covered, but we misplayed the deep ball. Deep ball judgment, Isaiah, I think, misplayed a little bit. It was his play. I thought he should have picked it. The other one was a, was a catch and run. We should have made the tackle. Um, so again, you go back to it's, it's game time and it's game reaction, and you know it's something that you don't do, you know, as much game time action as you do for, for a month. So you know, credit TCU and the plays that they made, and uh, you know, I thought Boykin does a nice job. He gets the ball out. He's a 
he's a guy that can create, create. But up front, I thought we played very well. You know, we stopped the run for the most part, and I thought, thought we made him one-dimensional in that, in that aspect.